That's the DAR Solo taking off, powered by its Polini engine. This is a very interesting airplane with fairly conventional ultralight type looks, but it's different in a number of ways. We're going to look at them. I'm Dan Johnson from ByDanJohnson.com, and I want to show you around the DAR Solo. I've seen this in Europe, but we don't have any in the United States yet. However, I'm thinking that could change because this handsome airplane can be had for somewhere north of $20,000 by the time you get it in the USA. But look at this. It's a pretty interesting airplane for that kind of money, or $25,000 even. I don't know an exact number, and that's not important now. What's important is that this is an affordable airplane. And I mean affordable that applies to most people who want to get a new airplane. Check this one out. That tidy little engine there, the single cylinder, but electric start and liquid cooled, is the Polini with its dual spark on it. It produces about 27 horsepower. There are some varieties on the Polini line, so it can be anywhere from the high 20s into the high 30s of horsepower. But even the lower version of this is going to make for a pretty performing airplane. Now, of course, it won't have the fastest climb rate in the world with the smallest amount of power that the Polini can make. The bigger ones will obviously do better. But watch the takeoff here. It gets off the ground pretty quick, don't you think? I can imagine that some people look at this and go, ooh, I don't know, that's a pretty open cockpit there. You can just like fall right out of the side of this thing. Indeed, I had that experience once in a little glider that had such a slender seat underneath me that it felt open on both sides. But you're well buckled in, and of course, uh, that's something you'll get over pretty quickly. But it is nicely protected in the front. You can see you in this aft view here. The pilot's got good wind protection. As he buzzes down the runway right in front of a camera that's going to photograph him. You'll see the cameraman shortly here. Kind of a fun little airplane. I'd look forward to flying one of these if I had the chance. As you saw on the opening screen, this is an aircraft produced in the country of Bulgaria. I'm probably guessing you don't know exactly where that is. I had to look it on a map too. It is basically uh, sandwiched between Syria, which we hear about in the news too often, and Turkey on the other side. So in between those states, those countries, is Bulgaria. A fairly warm place, although obviously we're watching this uh, factory pilot do some flying in the winter months because there's a bit of snow on the ground. This company has actually got a lot of history, and I mean a serious amount. It is actually older than Boeing, they claim. Well, the truth of the matter is, in 1912, hear that? That's only nine years after the Wright brothers first flew, Bulgaria started something called the Bulgarian State Aircraft Workshops. At that time, they started producing aircraft under a company name employing the letters D-A-R. The current proprietor, a man named Tony Eiliff, uh, has incorporated the DAR letters into the company name now, which is simply Aeroplanes DAR. Today, Aeroplanes DAR has two Solo varieties. Solo is the name of the aircraft, but they are in various forms. One is called UL, Solo UL, for ultralight. But the word ultralight in Europe means something quite different than it does in the United States for Part 103 ultralights. Indeed, about half of all special light sport aircraft that we have flying in the United States and around the world today 
started out as European, quote, ultralights, end quote. Well, that most commonly means an aircraft that weighs 450 kilograms or 992 pounds of gross weight, and light sport aircraft have moved beyond that number. Nonetheless, the Solo UL is an aircraft that weighs a little more than one could weigh if it was a Part 103 aircraft. So if you want to call it a kit that you can have the things you want on it and not try and stay within the tight parameters of Part 103, that might be your choice. And indeed, this company, very different than many companies in Europe, has set up to support kit building. Now that's going to require a U.S operator to make that process easier and to help with part supply and technical support and things like that. But I think that it's possible this company could achieve that once they find a new U.S. representative. Later on, when Germany created they call something they call the 120 kilogram class, DAR went back to the drawing board a little bit and Tony created something that was a bit lighter, shaving parts here and there a little bit to make this aircraft just a bit lighter. It wasn't a lot overweight and now it meets the 120 kilogram class and 120 kilograms for those that don't know is about 264 pounds so that's only 10 pounds more than a part 103. But the good news is Russia of all places has a 115 kilogram rule that works for them and 115 kilograms is right smack on the money 254 pounds so the solo 120 or the solo 115 could actually operate under u.s part 103 rules and for those that uh, want something a little extra on their airplane beyond what could be allowed on that well you can always go the kit route so it's good to be able to go both ways with this airplane One of the most interesting things I find about this airplane is its combination of an all-metal wing. I mean, the interior structure, uh, the wing coverings and all, are mated to a composite, I'll call it a boom structure, but it's not just the boom that holds the engine on one end, but the whole tail on the other, and that is one piece. The vertical fin, that is. Of course, the horizontal elevator and horizontal stabilizer have to be made of something, another part. But this aircraft combines all the best parts pretty well together and therefore takes on a modern look in today's world. See a lot of good information on their website at aeroplanesdar.com. Now they are in Bulgaria, but the information is presented in English and you can easily discern what you need to. Keep up with this and more information on bydanjohnson.com where we call ourselves the home of affordable aviation. Thanks so much for joining me today here, and I hope to see many of you down in Sun and Fun and other air shows throughout this new year.